You are now in the heart of the old village. As the population of Portslade grew in the 1600s, this area was the obvious place for its expansion. Whilst many of the houses you now see are 20th century, a closer look will reveal older details and fascinating stories. On the garden wall outside number 19, you will see a small pipe jutting out the top. This was the site of the village water pump. 80 metres below your feet runs an underground stream. This gave villagers a safe supply of water, fresh from the surrounding chalk downs. It was not until 1879 that Portslade was connected to a piped main supply, some 20 years after its neighbours in Brighton. Brighton suffered a devastating cholera outbreak in 1854, when one in every 250 people died from infected water supply. Portslade villagers were very fortunate to have such a clean, natural water supply on hand. In the corner of the old village is Portslade Farmhouse. The big white detached house was built in the mid-1800s. It formed part of the 87 acres of the Portslade House estate and had grazing for 200 sheep. By the farmhouse there was a large pond where ducks and animals could bathe and drink. The farmhouse also served as the local school at a time when school was not compulsory. Funded by the church, children of all ages up to 12 would be taught by just one teacher. Registers of the school still exist, and often note children missing from school as they were helping their parents bring in the crops or assisting with lambing. The children from wealthy Portslade families would be taught by their governess until the age of 12, at which point the boys would be sent to a private school, such as Brighton College. By the time school became compulsory in 1880, the new Brackenbury School in Locks Hill had opened, which is still there today. Robins Row, the Flint Cottages to the south, were built in 1740. Census returns reveal how cramped and overcrowded these dwellings were, with 38 people living in the five cottages. Most occupants were labourers in the nearby farms or the brick fields in what is now Victoria Park. Next to Robins Row is now a mix of two houses and three shops. Built in 1800, these were also homes for local workers. As the population grew, so did the need for shops and support by the people. By 1930, all the homes in these five buildings had been turned into shops, a general store, post office, drapers and a hairdressers. The chip shop, which is still here, opened in 1914. Port Slade's population grew from just 290 residents in 1800 to 4,300 residents by 1900. Building was initially concentrated on the village area and also on the coast road at the bottom of Station Road. However, by 1900 much of South Port Slade had new housing, shops and pubs which remains to this day.